Hi, I'm Kyle from the Sport Team and in this video we'll be covering the Personnel, Ethnicity and Nationality Dashboard. So, just like any other dashboard, the first thing to do is drag it from the left to the right hand side. Then you can click the blue cog to start configuring it. So, just like any other dashboard, the only thing to change in here is the employee range and then the refresh rate in the under the bonnet section. Once you're done there, just click save. Once it's all configured, all you need to do then is hover over it and then click show dashboard. You'll then be presented with four graphs. So the top ones are the ethnicity. So th at the top left will give you a table with all the ethnic um, origins in there. Um, so that'll show them all descending from highest to lowest. And at the top right, it'll give you a pie chart um, for the same results. And then at the bottom left, it'll give you the nationality. Um, and at the bottom right, it'll give you a nationality breakdown within a pie chart. These can be exported individually or as a whole. To do this individually, at the top right of each graph, you'll see a drop down here just to export into either PDF, image, or Excel. And that's the same for all of these graphs here. And then if you did want to export the full thing, at the top right here, there'll be another drop down to export to either PDF, image, or Excel. And just as a reference, just so you know where these results come from, or if you did want to add any more, so they're all, it's an accurate um, representation. All you need to do is go into Timeware, Personnel, and then if you go under Miscellaneous and Personal, these are pulled from the two drop downs here, so in the Ethnic Origin, and then the Nationality. So once these are filled out, that they'll then show on the graph. And that's all for the Personnel, Ethnicity, Nationality dashboard. So thank you all for watching.